to get training, job support, resources, log on www.servicenoexperts.com. Hi guys, welcome to the session, reporting in ServiceNow. So in this session, we'll be looking on how to pull out a report from ServiceNow. So if you are a manager or a lead, reporting will be one of your day-to-day -day activities. Whether it's pulling out the SLA report, number of P1 cases assigned to your team, uh, problem tickets which, will, which is open since last six months, you have enough reason to pull out the reports. Uh, basically, if you are using ServiceNow, you don't need to depend on any other tools, orchestration tools, Tableau tools, or analysis tools to pull out reports from ServiceNow. Even you don't require any scripting skill set to do this. ServiceNow has very rich reporting module, which comes from with the ServiceNow suite. Let's let's go through it. So in your filter bar, type of report. When I click reports, I can see a module here called as reports and inside that I have lot of activities which I can perform. ServiceNow itself has lot of predefined reporting schedules which is created for you and you can create new report in create new. So when you click on create new, it will ask you to give a name. So let's give a name demo report. And it will ask you to select the table. So basically, uh, as we have discussed in our previous session, ServiceNow stores everything, every data in form of tables, just like any other database. So if you want to pull out the reports, which is in incident or which are incidents, you have to select incidents here. If you want to pull out a problem, you can pull out problem. So whatever there is in ServiceNow, it will be visible here, whether it's problem, incident, change, service request, uh, your custom service catalog, workflows, everything will be listed here. That's our data. We can, we have three choices, whether it's list, bar or calendar. So let's go for a bar chart. So this is basically a chart. And you can group by anything. So let's, let's take all the problem tickets, which are there in my service now instance. So I can group it by problem state. And I can take the count of all the problem tickets which are solved, closed, resolved, and opened in my ServiceNow instance. You can note here that I can also add conditions like assignment group is a particular group, a problem state is a particular state which is created in last today, yesterday, last six months, or you can select a particular date here by using the help of calendar so basically i can add add conditions here and i can add logic to that that is created on this and assignment group is a particular group i can also add another logic for or assignment group is this or assignment group is another particular group so in this manner i can write logic also there once I'm done with this, I'll just click run here. And there you go. All the problem tickets in this instance with a beautiful chart. And you have the data here with percentage. 35.29% of the problem tickets are still open. 11 are in pending state. So with percentage, you can get a beautiful report. Now, if you want to have a PDF or an Excel file from this, yes, it is possible. Just click on save. So this will save your report. Click on this arrow here. And you can see it. So you can add it to the ITSM dashboard, which is which will be displayed on your home screen. You can schedule it like, okay, I want to run this report every day and send me as a mail for the report. You can do that. You can export to PDF. So while just clicking export to PDF, it will ask you send us email. You can send it as an email also or generate now. I'll go for generate now. It's querying the data and within seconds it is done. It's downloaded. And you can see a beautiful report here now. Which chart? 
same information so like this you can even create uh, aggregate uh, counts like for incident if you want to see the reassignment count of a particular incident or reassignment count for all the incidents in your assignment group so you can click on incident table here i'll go for a bar chart so basically you want to check if how many times my incident has been reassigned i'll go to sum here add all reassignment counts run the report and i can see that one of my incident has been reassigned two times and others are not reassigned so let's see as you can see here i have three incident in my queue 49 which is not reassigned Fifty again, which is not reassigned, and fifty-one, which is reassigned two times. This one is reassigned two times. Service does to cap approval, and again back to cap approval crew. So that's what I can see here. Two times my uh, incident has been reassigned. You can also schedule the report which we have created. Just click, go to schedules and schedule reports and click on new. And you can just give the report name we have just given demo report. You can see the demo report we have created for problem can give the email address mohit at the rate of admin .com. when you should run it daily monthly weekly periodically on demand so you can select whatever options you want starting from which date if you have any conditions omit if no records you just need to no need to run send you a mail if no record is found which type you want pdf png i'll go for pdf landscape and by click of submit it will run periodically or as per the schedule and send it to your mail in this mail address so service now reporting is this ac you can also run this report or execute this report from rest web services and also from soap web services Thank you for this quick session. Have a nice day. Bye. To get training, job support, resources, log on www.servicenoexperts.com.